already. Hello guys, welcome to VNAP Studio 2020. This is how we do things behind the scenes. If you missed our very first installment, what you need to do is check on hashtag we're still creating, hashtag finding amazing everywhere. Today's episode, we're going to be talking EV Fringe. How on this open access platform? And then Mrs. Sia, we stand at Bank Jazz Lounge. What is the vision for 2020? And also, this is the very first time it's all happening outside of Makanda. Can you imagine? We're going to be touching base to them. But for now, listen, I gotta do that thing when they say, part of your nose, you know what I'm saying. Hamba, hamba, zofitangali, hamba. about um, Chompy as our lead character who's basically every child that's joined Zip Zap, how he finds his way into the tent through a little hole and joins in and becomes by the end of the show uh, one of the family members and a beautiful performer. So that's basically what we try and do with every child that walks through our door is to give them a place of belonging and love and encourage them to become the best person that they can be. If you're familiar with the National Arts Festival, then you're definitely familiar with the Fringe stage. But this time around, it's taking a bit of a twist. These are Bibi Zongobuti, Ivy Fringe. And of course, Umundu Okade Yona, Ivy Fringe, is of course Uzi Kona Munaheng, who's been at the helm for the past 10 years now. So if there's anyone to give us answers, guys, Ubuti Gwenzega Niganjani is definitely Zukona. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I mean, each and every day we are on Zoom, we are on WhatsApp. So this 4IR is coming in handy and uh, we're kind of like forced as well to work remotely with a, with a pandemic. And how's the conversation been with some of the artists? Ngoba, Abanya, the moment Uti virtual, yay! Velik Dumi Kanda. So how's the response been from the artistic side? Are they open to this virtual and digital play? Yes, um, they had mixed feelings and some were very, um, they were not sure how the process is going, going to work. They were not sure if the virtual space will have the same effect as being live on stage in, with having audience in, right in front of them. And others were wondering about the source, uh, the loss of income, how they're going to um, make their money virtually, uh, um, unlike they would have done if it was a physical format. Zukona, you've told us so much about the V Fringe, but I also know what to look out for is the Standard Bank Ovation Awards. Um, yes, Standard Bank has been uh, our long-standing, one of our long-standing sponsors. So uh, back in 2010, they introduced the Standard Bank Ovation Awards, where they would recognize all the productions that are on the fringe that are coming to the festival for the first time. Um, so even in the uh, virtual format, we will have the Standard Bank Ovation Awards we will be looking at productions that are all the all the French productions that are on our platform. So Connor, our job here is done, but for you, it still continues. And I'd like you to please give some word of encouragement to all the artists coming through on the V Fringe. Um, what I would like to say to all the artists that are out there that haven't actually um, taken an opportunity to, to submit their form, they must do so. Um, this platform is going to give them um, a lot of, um, I would say, exposure because it's going to be global. It's not going to be limited to being in Makanda like you would have been. Get in touch with us via the email address fringe at National Arts Festival. That's your dot today, and we will be in touch. And uh, we look forward to receiving all those forms. Thank you. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, Zakona, for your time, and we wish you well in the time ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to dash off to the Artscape Theatre in this really wet uh, Cape weather uh, to practice the singularly appropriate trout quintet with members of the Cape Philharmonic Orchestra. And I'd just like to say how incredibly excited I am to be able to work 
with members of the orchestra again and I really hope that when we've recorded this and it gets streamed that you'll be there to watch it. Thank you. Art doesn't happen in a vacuum. In the words of Cornel West, to be a jazz freedom fighter is an attempt to galvanize, to energize the world. It's no secret that the past couple of weeks have hit us hard, but in music, we have been able to find a place of solace. For me, a sacred space, perhaps one that's best to help us rebuild. So we're now gonna have a conversation with Alan Webster, who's gonna give us a big idea of how are musicians reimagining themselves in this new VNAF 2020 vision. So let's talk about some of the conversations you're having with these artists in terms of also them trying to recreate music in their own virtual vacuums. Who's ready, who's not ready, and how do you start having that conversation with them? Uh, we don't start from scratch because for the last year we've been working on the 2020 program. Uh, it does take us a long time to put these in, in, in place um, and what we're looking for always is a program that reflects all sorts of different things, different parts of South Africa, young, old. Uh, of course what happened this year was that the old uh, we had to leave out because with COVID you can't be putting uh, South African jazz legends in dangerous positions at all when they're comorbidities or age etc. So in fact what's happened with this program is it's ended up being very young and uh, very exciting as a result actually. But I guess, Ellen, it's safe to say when we kick off the official National Arts Festival, you guys will also be giving us a big thumbs up saying, get ready, get ready, get revved up, right? <laughs> For sure. Uh, and of course, our, our really big one, uh, which I'm very chuffed with, is that there's a young man in London uh, who has just completely transformed music. Uh, yeah, people around the world are watching him in astonishment as he does things which seem to be impossible. He plays instruments, a whole range of them impossibly. Uh, and he, he composes, he re, as I said, he's changed music and his name is Jacob Collier. Uh, and he's on our program. Mm, awesome. So you're busy with the hard stuff and I know I've got one of your musicians that's busy rehearsing right now. So I'm going to say bye to you and check up on your musicians on stage to see how are they doing because time is ticking, Alan. You know very well, the 25th is getting closer <laughs> and closer. So I've got to love and leave you and wish you all the best, yeah? Sure. How are you? So great to meet you today. How's it going? You're rehearsing right now. Things are going very, very well. Uh, I was very nervous because obviously we haven't done this in a live sort of setting, playing with other musicians for a while. Uh, but rehearsals have been amazing. Um, the guys came out. I think also there's a certain kind of fire and a hunger that has brewed in the times that we've been, the time that we've been apart. So the music is coming out like crazy, you know, it's, and there's a, there's a certain kind of power and I'm really excited for people to experience that, um, you know, when, uh, when, when they get to see it. To be young, gifted, and black. It's quite a weird way to be able to curate your set. So tell us, what are we expecting and how was your curation process to make sure Guti Iya and this mm -hmm. offering in 2020 as will be virtual? So I think for me, um, now is the time I released my debut album uh, last year, July. So this set for me was a little bit of a celebration of how far that has come. Um, you know, despite COVID, I'm still getting requests for people who are saying to me, please, can we meet somewhere? I'd love to buy the album. People who are only getting onto the album now. So for me, it was just, it was around what are the songs that people have been sort of resonating with and also just taking taking stock of the moment you know what are the songs that will give people healing what are the songs that will comfort people in this very strange time i mean you know there's all sorts of things happening economically and otherwise and personally as well so i curated my set along those lines but i think it was just a celebration of injale kaya and uh, how far we've come and, and how far the albums come as well I don't want to take you for too long. Why on earth should my virtual bum be looking at your stage and at your performance? Why should I get tickets to your show? Let me know. Firstly, I'm going to be looking so cute. <laughs> I'm going to be looking so cute. So listen, if you're not even 
if you're not going to be listening you can just watch you can just turn off the sound and just watch because i'm gonna be looking cute but secondly i am going to be playing music from my debut album which i am incredibly proud of and the music is beautiful the musicians are beautiful like i've been saying you guys really really want to hear um what everybody's sounding like not just me but just our collective energies what we're going to bring to the stage it's going to be beautiful it's going to be fire we hope that it's going to bring you healing um and it's going to give you comfort so yeah uh, absolutely amazing thank you so much for joining with us and i love you girl i'm always shining your flag girl i'll see you Lay it Lay it <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, my name is Sergio de Souza. Oh, I live here in Makanda. We all know that this is the festival time, and then we see that there will be no festival this year. We will miss it. Uh, it, it tells a lot to us as the community of Gramstown, Makanda. And this time around, since we're going virtual for the very first time, I'm left thinking, how are the people, the culture, and most importantly, the donkeys um, happening right there in Makanda? So you know what? I thought it's best to give a Susan War a call, who's the head of Makanda Tourism, to find out, does she miss us? Does she really, really not miss us? Even the donkeys do miss you guys because they're sort of wandering around pretty aimlessly in the streets. This, this time around, we should be seeing people in the streets and uh, the general buzz of people getting ready to come and, and do what is missing this year and it's terrible mm. but tell us what exactly is the draw card with makanda what is it that brings people all the way from different corners of the world all the way to makanda what are the attractions what is this pull that we can't explain that keeps pulling us back to makanda there are several things. We, we're basically a domestic tourism spot. So people come, they bring their children to school and they visit friends and relations. But we've seen our tourists change quite dramatically and it is a much younger tourist. Mm -hmm. And these are young people who like to come for the vibe and they love to come for festivals and business meetings and things like that. And it really is especially during um, June, July, when, when it's cold, you know how Grahamstown does get cold, or mm -hmm. rather I should say Makanda. Makanda gets very cold. But it is this little city that is just unexpected. And when the festival is on, you know, the festival, as you know, it takes over the entire city. And that's what makes it a real draw card because everybody's in that vibe, in that move, in that mood i should say and it's just it's very different to other festivals elsewhere mm. and it's it's amazing that so much culture whether it's dance music music um plays um is crammed into 11 11 days hectic mm. days you know it, it is an amazing city for that um and as they do say the show certainly must go on and it is going on virtually this time thank you so much susan for your time listen this year may be virtual we're crossing fingers that next time hopefully we'll be doing this interview face to face hey well i think so yes you know i look forward to it the festival doesn't ever die and it just it just reincarnates itself and i think that is amazing Well, it's here, South Africa's very first virtual national arts festival. If you're wondering how to communicate with us, well, it's simple. Get a hold of us on Twitter, Facebook, and on Instagram. The hashtag to follow is hashtag we're still creating, hashtag find amazing everywhere. Listen, all that's left is for us to meet on the 25th of June when we kick off our 11 days of amazing. Have you sanitized? Go sanitize. <laughs>